How was the producer's experience different for you from coming off of Funny Thing and having such success in that and then moving into something that was even more successful and even more exposure? Well, I, you know, I think you know, everyone should have something like that happen to them. Um, you know, it, it's just a once-in-a-lifetime thing that I, you know, I just remember, I remember hearing about it, that Mel was writing this, and I was at the, I was at the, at the Ritz in Paris. And I went down to the swimming pool, and there were two people in the pool, and it was Mel Brooks and Anne Bancroft. And so we chatted, and then Anne went upstairs, and then Mel and I just were floating in the pool, talking. And, and then he, um, and he said, that's when he first, he said, you know, I'm writing he this. He pitched it to you there. Huh? He pitched it to you Well, there. he said, I'm writing this musical of the, of the producers. And I, he said, I think you should, you're the only person in the world to play Max Bialystok. And I said, well, that would, I would be honored. And two, two years later, we were doing a, a little reading. And, and you did it on Broadway. And yeah. And you went and performed it on the West End, which was not, you weren't, you weren't expecting that. That came right. at the last minute. Susan yes. Stroman called you up, and as you were going on vacation, I, I, I recall reading. Well, I was, I, we had just finished the run of The Frogs at Lincoln Center, which she had directed right. and choreographed, and I, just, I was just going to my house in Long Island to rest because we were going to do the film version of, of the musical, and she called, and Yes, asked me to come uh, help out in London. Things weren't going so well. But um, it won you an Olivia Award. I know. I was, it was very nice. <laughs> so it, it turned out It turned out Very positively. nice of those British people. Uh, they were very kind. And it was, uh, you know, and I got to do it with um, Lee Evans, a wonderful mm -hmm. English actor and comedian um, who I had done, I'd done a movie, Mouse Hunt, with. But it's, you know, it was, it's one of those, that's one of those shows that, you know, uh, you know it's, it's just something you could never predict. Or, I mean, we, we used to say it'll either be the biggest hit or the biggest flop ever. It could go either way. And, but it was always, whenever we did it, people went crazy. People just had the best time. Uh, you know, it was the, just the right, what you're always looking for, and especially in a musical, you know, it's all the right elements all the, all combined. All the right people came together, and then it, it was. And it wasn't the. It wasn't the the last time you and. And then the backlash started. Which was. Oh, there's always you know if something is that successful, there's always a backlash. What was the well, backlash from that? It wasn't that good. <laughs> there's always that. You know the backlash. That you know that. Oh, that you know, I think I think you know critics were like I always uh, compare it to uh, that the critics went so crazy that they regretted it on some level. It was like they had, uh, you know, they woke up in the morning in a beautiful hotel suite with a with a gorgeous, expensive call girl, and and uh, they kind of were like, well, "What happened? I don't know what happened." What you is know? it about the relationship between you and Matthew Broderick on stage that that leads? to success on, on, on Broadway? I don't know. You know, it was, it was that particular show, I think. But it know, wasn't those that, roles. I mean, and you guys worked together again and, and, and had success. Yeah, well, you know, we, yes, we did. We had success no matter what they said. <laughs> we sold a lot of tickets. Um, but by that point, really, you know, the backlash... Are you had, speaking of the, the odd couple? Yeah, the yes. backlash had set in and they, you know, and they were... I've never seen anything like that where they were they were they were actually annoyed or fed up. It, 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 like I, the two of you being on stage. Yeah, together? sure. That it was big because <laughs> did they think it was there a was this out? horrible thing that happened? It was this horrible slash wonderful thing that happened. We were before we went into as we were going into rehearsal, they had sold twenty one million dollars worth of tickets, you know, to a straight play, and it was like, oh, you know, it was frightening. <laughs> And then you thought, well, how, well, yeah, I don't know whether we could ever live up to that. You know, so I think critics were annoyed that, in a, in a sense, we had rendered them powerless. That, you know, that it didn't matter. People were going to go see this, whether, they, whether it was good, bad, indifferent. Again, you know. you're the king of Broadway. Well, I don't know. It was just, it was a, it was a, <laughs> it was a, a, it was a zeitgeist moment. <laughs> But, um, you know, he's just, you know, it was, but the initial experience, obviously the producers was, um, that's how we became friends. We had met 
because we had done voices in The Lion King. But it was the, the show where we actually became friends. And there was, um, and I think it really was a, a huge part of the success of the show, was that, that relationship that you really was, you know, you felt these two people, you know, loved each other. And, and um, you know, I think that's an, it's an important part of the, for the characters too. <laughs>